Hi, my name is Tori and I'm an Applications Engineer working for National Instruments in the UK and Ireland. Over the last few days I've been working on a tutorial for university students to introduce DC motor control to them using the National Instruments MIDAC hardware and LabVIEW. The MIDAC is a multifunctional data acquisition device which is ideal for students as it's low cost yet provides analog input and analog output lines, digital inputs and outputs and even audio input and output lines. On top of this, it can be utilised as a DMM or additional functionality can be added to it with add-ons such as the Elenco protoboard which I've used for this tutorial. The circuit that I built on the protoboard was for a H-bridge motor configuration. As most engineering students learn some control theory throughout the uh, duration of their studies and this can often be a complex subject I opted to design a tutorial based around DC motor control to show how varying certain parameters in a control system can affect the behaviour of the system and even its stability. There are two main types of control systems, open loop and closed loop. An open loop system is one that doesn't incorporate feedback and therefore processes can often be affected by disturbances. Closed loop systems, on the other hand, incorporate feedback and therefore improve accuracy with the ability to compensate for any unknown disturbances. The downside to this is that they often require additional attention during the planning stage to ensure that the system remains stable. The tutorial firstly provides an introduction into what will be learnt before covering basic control theory and then showing how the hardware can be set up, including selecting the device and even starting and stopping the motor. Following this it looks at PID control and we can see that we can vary the values of KC, TI and TD to generate a different PWN output to the motor. Following this we look at PI control so just using the proportional and the integral and can vary the values of KI and KP and observe results such as the settling time vary. At the very end, we have several key takeaways, which are there to show the students what they will have learnt throughout the course of that. To run this tutorial, all the student needs is the executable and the LabVIEW runtime engine. However, if they did want to view the coding behind this, it was all created in the LabVIEW development environment using the DACMX drivers and also the control designer simulation module. Thanks for watching. For more information and a copy of the tutorial, please check out the links that you can see on your screen at the moment.